everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a lily with acrylic paint. Our first step, since we're working from a photograph, is to get the image onto our canvas. I'm just working with a canvas board today. This one's 9 by 12. You can use whatever size you like. I'm just staying a little small. Usually I work on a easel, tabletop easel, or even a stand-up easel, but I'm just going to work on the table today just so it's a little easier for you to see. So our first step, at the beginning of this video, I showed you a picture of this lily that we'll be working from. Take a screenshot of that and then just print it out. Regular size on a regular piece of paper. So we're going to need a pencil and then flip over your image and I want you to scribble all over it. Press fairly hard. I'm not going to do it because it shakes the table a little and we don't want to make you all dizzy first thing. So once you've scribbled on the back and covered everywhere where you're going to have to draw a line, I'm just going to line this up in the corner. This way our lily's centered. Just like that. Then I'm going to start tracing over the main parts of the lily. Trace each petal. Go around. Trace around each petal. I'm going to draw these little things in, the pollen. Fun part that makes us sneeze in the spring. And the buds. I'm just getting the main part of the lily. I'm not really going to concern myself with the background right now. We're just going to start with our lily first. Okay. I'm going to go all the way around with the press fairly hard because you're transferring your lines from what you had on the back. You don't have to get too detailed with your drawing because sometimes with since this is going to be a light color it's a little hard to cover with a lighter color, the pencil, so we're going to use as few lines as possible. But we do want to get the general idea where it is and get our proportions right. Okay, into our stem and our leaves. Just going around the outside of where the leaves are. Okay. There's another lily over here, but I think I'm going to leave that one out just for this painting. You can add it if you'd like. You can get as detailed you, as you want with the background, but we're going to do something a little impressionistic with the background, just so our flower really stands out. Okay, once you have the lines transferred on there, then you're going to have to retrace these lines, because when you transfer like that, it has a tendency to smear, so you don't want your lines rubbing off before you get to use them. So I'm just going to go over those again. So everything you traced on here, just go over it again. Okay. Then you just set aside your paper, keep that as a reference for later. Okay, now our transfer is complete. The next step is to put out the paint that we're going to be using today. I'm using Liquitex and Golden brand acrylic paint. You can use whichever brand you like. These just have to be my personal favorite. I'm using what's called a wet palette. It has these little sponges that keep the paint wet while you're working and you can also it has a lid that you can close it up at night and maybe work on something the next day if you want. If you don't have one of these you can use a paper plate you could use a paper plate covered with tin foil because you don't want the paint soaking into the plate. You can also use wax paper that's a good alternative too. This palette has wax paper sheets in it. 
So first I'm going to take some titanium white and I'm going to squeeze some of that out on my palette. That's going to be our main color that we're going to need. And then I'm going to use cadmium yellow. A little bit of that. And we're also going to need some chromium oxide green. I'll put some of that on my palette. And a little bit of burnt sienna. Sometimes these are a little hard to open. That's why I'm using this nutcracker to get it open. Okay, put some of that out. And that's what colors we'll need for now. I'm setting aside the black burnt umber, primary cyan, and some sap green for our background. We'll use those later, but we don't need to put them out yet. So once I have those colors out, then I'm going to take my... Oops. 